Hello everyone, welcome to Partial Reconfiguration with FPGA. We are from Logic Tronics and Digitronics Nepal. We will teach you about partial reconfiguration with FPGA design tools in this. And in this course, we will cover a few more sections. Let's see the section overview here. So in the first section, we have partial reconfiguration overview where we will teach you about the basic design flow of partial reconfiguration and the basic lab session which includes shifter design, shifter module design with PR flow and we also have some additional lab of lab first where we are going to add few more modules for creating new tiles and in the section first we also have the lecture 2 which is timing analysis and DRC with PR flow so we are going to analyze the timing and the all the uh, connection settings DRC checkup and we also have lab 2 of X4R which is crypto algorithm actually this is just the light version of X4R this is not the real time implementable crypto and we'll design it we'll write it and we'll implement with PR flow on FPGA so we'll implement this project on Jailbird FPGA along with lab 1 and lab 1 extra which are also going to implement or tested on Jailbird FPGA so section 2 is debugging with PR flow in which we are going to learn about and know about the debugging methodologies like integrated logic analyzer and virtual input output we'll use these two tools debugging IP or let's say tools in lab 2 one and we also have the extra lab where we are going to add few more modules or childs for the debugging project and we'll also implement this project on Jabber FPGA which is Jing family of FPGA and section 3 is using partial reconfiguration controller so reconfiguration controller or PR controller is available on Vibardo and we'll utilize Vibardo 19.1 in this course however 18 point series is also working well and we also have the lab 1 or lab 3 1 in this section which is going to implement a design based on VCU108 FPGA which is Vertex Ultra Scale FPGA and section 4 is PR with Microblaze or processing system where we will design the partial reconfiguration lab with Microblaze DDR MIG and it is going to target on VCU118 Vertex Ultra Scale Plus FPGA and this section 5 is PR flow with Xilinx Ultra Scale Plus where we will talk a little bit more about Ultra Scale Plus architecture and we'll also do some lab one lab with PC118 FPGA and section 6 is PR flow with PCIe peripheral component interconnect express bus in Xilinx Ultra Scale Plus FPGA actually the PCIe IP is going to utilize on this section section 6 where we will have the lab of BCU118 based on BCU118 actually we are not going to test the lab directly on BCU118 but we will show all the steps and the methods of designing and generating the bit stream so it, it can be tested on BCU118 vertex ultra scale plus so the bonus section consists of bit stream relocation and few more other uh, references links and books for partial configuration so guys uh, this is all in our section overview and I'm talking about the course outcomes or after completing this course you'll be able to know about the partial reconfiguration flow and understand the partial reconfiguration which are tools and methods with Xilinx Pibado actually some of the PR overview session will also cover the Altera based tools and other FPGA vendor based tools however we'll mainly focus our lab on Xilinx Pivotal tool and Xilinx FPGA and the configurable methods, partitions etc will also be the learning of this course and you will also learn about uh, floor planning techniques, timing behavior management and implementing project on 7 series ultra scale and ultra scale plus of Xilinx FPGA and the finally PCI based design for PR, PR flow. So this is all in the PR configuration or partial configuration with FPGA. So guys sign up for the course and let's meet in the course. Thank you.